seamlessly yes. to our next point. Okay. Because the one thing that jumps out to me is I think we'd all agree the Browns have, if not the premier pass rusher, he's certainly in the conversation for sure. top three. You know, if you want to stretch it, top five. But he he's one of the elite guys. The Browns this year are in the bottom third of the league in sacks as a team. Mm-hmm. It's mind-boggling how few sacks everyone not named Miles Garrett right. has. Right. To, to that point that you just made, anything at all that you can see this week that would change your mind on Joe Woods having to go, and I know you're big on the Mike Prefer has to go yeah, yeah, too, yeah. so I'll throw him in there too. Is there anything they can do this week in your eyes that would save their jobs? No, I, I think that ship has been sail, that sailed. They, the Browns, uh, frankly, the Browns need, uh, uh, my argument leads you to believe that I think uh, Stefanski should be fired because I think they need a full overhaul of the way they play offense and they certainly need a full overhaul of the way they play defense. They they need to play with their secondary as G alluded yeah, to before. Just, they right. need to be ultra aggressive on defense. They need to not only to blitz but they need to blitz from all different angles move guys around. Where's the safety blitz? Where's the corner right. blitz? Other teams do this. I see the Ravens, the Bengals, the Steelers. They, they're throwing corners. The slot corner comes in sometimes. I never know who's going to come. Joe Different Woods. guys drop in and out. The Browns defense is just so vanilla, and they have the skill, you know, not a defensive tackle, but there's enough skill at linebacker when they were healthy, at defensive end, and certainly in the secondary, that they could do more of these things, and they did not. Joe there's said no excuse for quizzically that. this week that he himself would like to bring more pressure. <laughs> and and, and now, 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 so here, I, I, when I heard that, I thought, what? what the hell you mean you'd like, then bring more pressure. It's your decision. You have the phone in your hand. <laughs> like, but, and, but now, yeah. as I started thinking, why would he say that? Yeah. I wondered if he wasn't kind of exposing what he really thinks of his cover guys. In other words, saying, I'd like to. But I don't trust the back end of the defense to cover if we so, if it takes us longer to get so if home. You, if you sit out here chirping, right? There's too much chirp chirp going on here, right? The Browns have no identity. You don't know what they do. We we, we last week of the season. We don't know. I, I can tell you what the D does or not, right? We're not shifty. Well, they don't bring pressure. I said we're not shifty. We don't make adjustments. We don't They're make very adjust- vanilla. We don't we make don't adjustments. Really fast. I said we don't. But we don't, Brad, we don't do you play think the, that's because he doesn't trust that, the pieces? No, that he that's has? because he can't coach quality <laughs> talent. I was saying it 10,000 times. <laughs> Give him a team with lesser players. He'd probably be freaking wait, wait, wait. great. You talking about Stefanski? <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, we're talking about Joe Woods. No, yeah, no, we're talking about Woods. Here, this, yeah. this is what you're missing out on, yeah. right? Stefanski is controlling the entire ship. Allegedly. Right? That should be. <laughs> yeah. Should I, be. Right? I never so, see so, him over with the defense so anybody, and Joe Woods. anybody yeah. under his umbrella, right? Right. Is really Stefanski. That's yeah, who it is. That is a fact. That's what it is. Yeah. Right. And stop get well, it's this guy. No, it ain't. It's that guy over there. See, if that's the guy. And, 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 and what points to this is this is when you see when you have to exile people, what that means is a complete breakdown in communication. Look how many people he's exiled. Not not hey, let's figure <laughs> out. Jettison, middle of the season. He's like, oh, no, you're out of here. You're gone. You're out of here. <laughs> Baker Mayfield, they told him not to even come back to the facility. No, don't, talk, don't come back. Like, when you when you can't get people to and make... And now clowning. When you can't finish the year, that means you have a complete lack of communication on a regular coach or human no, we, standpoint. We're going to take Stefanski. We're going to put him right where he need to be. Division three with them little kids. <laughs> and you go ahead and coach these kids up. Because it's hard to this, coach grown men. Because this, 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 this A talent here, too much for you. It's, because, a, mind, it's a mind work, isn't it? I just it's, ultimately, I, I guess the reason I don't want to fire Stefanski is because I do think he's done a lot with little on offense. And I don't agree that he can't coach great players. I, I don't think there's proof of that. Well, I don't you think say we a, have proof of a that. lot with a little. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, they, I, haven't I, had they, good... they have Nick Chubb, who's the, the yes, premier running back. Nick Chubb's been great. Yeah. It's not I like mean, Nick Chubb hasn't played well. I know. But I'm saying in the passing game, in my opinion, he's had subpar quarterbacks until these last six weeks. And yet, the offense overall in his three years has been good. Now, last year it wasn't great, but the first year the first year with Baker it was, and this year the offense has been yeah. good. It's actually been worse, obviously. With so, in everybody's mind here, Prefer Woods gone no matter what. I don't care if they what they do this yeah, week. No, Pitches yeah. shut out against yeah, Pittsburgh. Yeah, 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 that's I, not going to change your mind. A, I think that's that, a given. That's, that, for me, that's already – You you have bigger problems over there. Yeah, but the problem – this is what the problem is in this town. You won't call a spade a spade. 
You make every excuse for everybody, right? And sometimes it's just what it is. How about we just start over and you out of here? But that's but you that's, say we make excuses, but that's all the Browns have done for 20 that's years. That's the problem. That's the problem. I know, but then no, I would no, ask no, you. The problem here, is here. all they've me, done let, is turnover. Let me, let me, I, I don't, I, but but I, I would argue that I don't really that's agree a, with that's that. A, that's a, that's a but separate, where's the proof that, that's that Stefanski can't coach, that's, coach here, stars? 20. Five and twenty-four, well, or whatever it is. That's what out. I, I, I gave you six. I gave you six. <laughs> I, gave, I gave you six, seven people. That's like these, these individuals, and you think about it. Yeah. Each one of them was talking about production. When David and Joku was the third time, he said, "I got to get about here. I, I can't do it." You play uh, uh, Harrison Bryant over me. We don't know Beckham. You know he had to take. Yeah, but, but gee, the, the, first of all, Jarvis Landry. By the time he complained, he was off the team and he wasn't the same player. Jar Jarvis Landry's not a star anymore. He's just a guy. Bull, bull, what? Jarvis uh, Landry's bull, just bull, a guy. Bull, when, I, when I say bull, star, bull, I mean bull, bull. they've done. They have. They put work in this league. They are Pro Bowlers. They are. They are locker room leaders. I understand leaders. that, but Jarvis Landry at this point is just a guy. Well, I mean, well, but that's now. Well, I'm how did about, they misuse Jarvis Landry? No, like well, they, they no, didn't. What, what I'm what I'm saying to you is yeah. this. When you bring when you bring those type of guys in, yeah, you have to have communication because when they feel like, whoa, what are you doing here? But and they don't feel yeah. you know, me, they they are they are your extension in the locker room. Those guys keep everybody else in tow, right? Everyone gave Jarvis Landry credit for the culture change. Yes, everybody. GM, head coach, owner, they all three made that clear when he left town. Mm. What was so confusing to me, I do agree with Bull. I do think from a skill set standpoint, yeah, Jarvis he, Landry he, he is did, just a guy. He now. diminished greatly. And I hate yeah. to say that. However, I do think that there is there is value in recognizing other things that are in the intangible category. Right. Yesterday, Aditi was on and she said, one of the things Mike Tomlin hates to talk about is intangibles. Yep. Coaches in general hate to talk about things they can't see, touch, or measure. Yes. Yeah. And sure. with Jarvis but, Landry... But, he honestly was one of those rare players yes. who I was disappointed that they didn't reach the, the $10 million number that he, that would have kept him. Right. Not for the production. Although, by the way, he would have been productive in this offense because... I mean, he was hurt the whole year. I know. So, you know that, that's true. Yeah. But I just think to have him around a young David mm -hmm. Bell. I want to have so, I agree. So, so to Jay, to your point, the intangibles are sometimes immeasurable to the eye. Right, but you know when it's you in can the, feel them. You know what's in the building. Yeah, right. I'll give you a case in point. I'll take you back to the Cavaliers. Mike Sanders was one of those players when the Cavaliers. Were oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Phil Hubbard was one of those players, right? The Browns have had a number of players like that. Jarvis Landry and a lot. You may not see the production on the field, but he's the glue that holds the cohesive group together. So yeah. when it gets out of kilter, right. he has the currency. Landry, he has the currency to be able to and do. And he was definitely but, that to guy. be fair. Landry being gone is not a Stefanski decision. No, but That's the a very no, no. It's a problem because if your head dog knows who the, who, who those yeah, people are, yeah. If Stefanski had oh, gone to Barry and said, "We not let, let him go," but they had the problem with that whole situation is he was his guaranteed money. If they had picked up, the, if they had not, well, they uh, released him. I'm not talking right. about not reaching. I, okay. They did the right thing in releasing yeah, him originally yeah, yeah. because that number was 18 right. million. Right. Yeah. However, he ended up going to New Orleans for six million. Right. But so do we know that he would have come back for sure, well, or was the, he offended? The, the, the by report getting was that there was an eight million dollar offer for him to stay here. Yeah. He turned that down and then ultimately ended up signing for six million in New Orleans. Right. So either either he bet someone else would come in with a higher number than eight and had to tuck his tail between his legs and take the six. Right. Yeah. Or he was so disgruntled, he said, you know what? I'll go home, yeah. back to New Orleans, for, for less money than staying here and feel disrespected. And, 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 and they knew, and, and sometimes do yourself a favor. Be a great, be a, be a great visionary. When you brought Odo Beckham Jr. in here, you know that's the dude's best friend, right? Mm. You, so you know already when you come in, yeah. okay, we gonna have to handle these dudes as I'll give you a quick I'll give you a quick conversation. I used to work at I was a, a manager in a, in, a, in a call center when we doing social security applications. There's two people that was on the team. One of them um, were they were a husband and wife, right? And so previously, when I was before I was there, they said these people are gonna be a problem because they they don't want to listen to nobody. Their numbers aren't that great. I came in and inherited them. You know how it is. You inherit yeah. the people that's on yeah. the team. So at one, I brought them in and I talked to them and I said, hey, you know, first meeting, you know, what do you guys want? Help me help you. 
they said, well, one of the things is we already know what the metrics are. We already know how we can skate without getting fired. We already know all of that. <laughs> they told me that straight face. I've been here 10 years. Wow. I know what to do and not to do before I get fired. So that's on them. I'm going to do bare minimum. I said, well, let me get, see if I can get you to do more of the bare minimum. He, she says, I said, what would it take? You give me two good months. I'll give you whatever you want. I'll get you what you need. They, they only wanted to take their lunch breaks together. Right. Every other yeah. leader yeah. told them no. Yeah. They wanted to have the same schedule so that they could ride to work, come back together, and do whatever. Yeah. Right. Everybody else told them no because they just could say no. All I had to do was say, listen, Bro, if you give me them, if you give me these metrics, the you is? don't rock the boat, and you do that, I give you what. What, yes, the, what the numbers do? They was the best. They, they <laughs> became the best two people in the call center. Because you can read the rules. Best two. <laughs> In the call center. There's a skill set to read the rules. And they yeah. said, what do you And do? acquiescing yes. when it's appropriate. When it, it's appropriate. Because it, it don't cost me nothing. I don't care yeah. when you eat lunch. Well, and, <laughs> and it know. benefited the I, operation. Well, it worked uh, out. Ultimately, to me, I don't think the Browns did Jarvis Landry wrong. I would have liked him back, but I, I don't think he's much of a player at this point. Uh, the old Dell Beckham situation, uh, who knows what the real truth is. I think there's blame to go around between Odell uh, Baker and Stefanski on that situation. You gotta keep uh, naming names. Any, I don't think you gotta any, keep naming names. You gotta say Kareem Hunt was disgruntled. He don't even yeah, know. That, again, that was about contract. That's not Stephon Kevin Stefanski. Diggs in Minnesota. Yeah, Stephon Diggs, Minnesota. Yeah. That was after Stefanski left. <laughs> again, uh, again, again, again. <laughs> Stop making excuses. Wait, I think it's, Bulls' it's, timeline it's, is right on that. I think uh, that was how was Stefanski Diggs, was gone. Kevin Stefanski? I won't even. I was on the staff. I'm not even going to Minnesota. I'm going to my IC. Listen, he may be again. I'm gonna just tell you, I don't know Kevin. No, he might yeah. be the nicest guy in the world. I don't know. He over his head though. He is, yeah. and it's okay. What's the truth about <laughs> Diggs? What I get. yeah, I, he just said that. I know Stefanski was the head coach there, was the OC, but yeah, I think that he had left Minnesota before Diggs was unhappy. I think there. so, but man, I, mean, I don't know. I can't, I can't remember, remember the timeline either. But I do think Bull that you you may be right on that. When did uh, we'll when did Diggs me. leave? Minnesota. Diggs first Diggs first year in Buffalo was 2020 Stefanski's first year here. So they were Yeah, so it had nothing to do with Stefanski. No, they were no, there, no, they, no, they, he, Minnesota he, he at the same time. In 2019. 2019. <laughs> yeah, but it, was if it was about Stefanski, why would he have if, if Stefanski was gone, why would he have left? Cuz he's probably sick of him at the end. <laughs> yeah, by the way, if Diggs the problem is gone then year. stay. What was what was Diggs numbers his last year in Minnesota? Uh, his worst season of his career, 63 catches, and he couldn't wait to run yards, out of Minneapolis. And how many touchdowns? Six. How many games did he play? 15. 1,300 yards? That's a bad no, no. season? 1,100. Oh, 1,100. But the year before, he had 102 receptions and nine touchdowns. The year before that, he had eight touchdowns. And when Stefanski was on the staff, too. Was, yeah. was the guy, really. Yes. I mean, he was Spreadonomics.com. <laughs> he was That's the name of his playbook. I mean, listen, well, 2019 you, was the year that you ain't going to get it too much. Crazy, yes, it was. Yeah. 2019 was the year well, that Well, so you can see how us. Diggs might be looking at this going, so you're going to feature Thielen when I'm, I believe but I should oh, be the featured guy? Ultimately, I don't it's know. the quarterbacks making the throw. Like, well, I understand you want to say we're making – some people make – you want to blame me making excuses for Stefanski. Okay, but we can't blame Stefanski for everything. If there's if it's eight players – Yes, we can. If it's eight players <laughs> – But it's there's, each one is a different yes, circumstance. I I, but here's the thing. But there's a lot Gee, of them. There's a lot of them. The David Njoku <laughs> and Kareem Hunt things were about contracts. If I go to my boss and they say, you got eight people in your team every year that's complaining about your leadership But it's not style. every year. No, over three. Years. Over three years. I, no, I just fair. think I, I think I think it's getting a little blown out of proportion. I don't. Uh, I just I, don't. I, I, I don't. Bull, do you think there is that he has some culpability for perhaps Absolutely. communication problems? Hundred percent. I yes. think that's a hundred percent. It ain't even affected the skill set. But, but I think a lot of it could have been remedied. But uh, let me uh, ask you this. But G. also giving the players a complete pass in some of these situations. First, is first, first yeah, no, you not, can't do that. Not, none of these guys that that you're talking about are are you can label as bad people. Right. There's no like, there's not, no there's like, nobody Odell Beckham rubble. has a long history of, of being not, a, I'm not saying he's a bad person. I, I don't think you can go down to New Orleans as they say that. Or the back, <laughs> what has he done in New Orleans? I said, that's where he's Fred, from. Fred, he, he where, crushed Eli Manning when he left the Giants. Did, crushed him. No, I'm not talking about the team. I'm, I'm talking bull. about the locker room. I'm talking about his hometown. I'm sure they don't if say you, that if, there. If, watch this, watch this. And, I didn't say he was a bad guy. I'm saying he's, he's complained before. He has been disruptive. That's fair to say. Here, here's here's the thing when you and, and that's the thing when you talk about when you go in the locker room and you ask any New York Giant you ask any Cleveland Brown you go ask the Rams you say what is the what do you think about Odell Beckham Jr. You will get sterling 
replies about I him agree. as a teammate. You're right. Exactly. But it's fair. But it's also fair to say that he crushed Eli Manning so let me say, out the door let me, in the Giants. Let me Did say he this here. I play, I, okay. I, I probably pay one of the most enigmatic players. I probably pay one of the most enigmatic players in any sport. So from the outside, when you see Dennis Rodman, what do you think? Dick. Yeah, well, yeah. That was you think? I Pause. think I think he's a guy. Great player. I, 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 dick. No. I, I think he's a guy who's all about energy and winning and knowing his role and doing his Let part. Let me tell you what Dennis Robin is as a person. He's one of the best people you could be around. He he's not that he's not what you see on TV. Mm -hmm. He's not that guy. He is not he plays that role, but at a core, that's a quality person. Right. Quality. I well, did all not, his teammates I did, said that. I did not know it until I got lined up beside him. Right. But if you see it on, on TV, the perception you have yeah. is what right. a bunch of people around I here. Think have. He's got mental health issues. That's the way it looks from the outside. But I wouldn't. But I don't know him personally, and I'll admit, like I think so, somebody's a, a jerk. Like, I don't like Baker, but I don't know him personally. I'm saying he's a bad that, guy. That's what I'm saying. I, but I didn't say Odell was a bad guy. I said he's caused problems. He stirred the pot before. Yeah, I think you know. This, and this Kareem Hunt. On so, many of these issues, on so many of these issues, we always say this, somewhere in the middle lies the truth. Yeah. I think the smartest thing that's been said about this discussion is if you're pointing all the fingers at one place, you're not looking at it in totality. The players have some culpability. Yeah. The head coach has some culpability. 100%. I will say this, though, in, in defense of your points, it's – it's more on the head coach to make sure that the relationships are great. Let me ask the players have to pull let, some, let me, but let me, the let, head coach let, let, has let, to do the heavy lifting. Let me lifting. ask you this, and somebody uh, somebody said it in the gym the other day when I was working out. Do you think the things that happened here would ha happen under Tomlin? No. Well, Antonio Brown, what happened yeah, to him? Well, and, and, I mean, not the, as many, but it the, happened. The, the difference, the difference, is, this is what people on the street think. Yeah. Right? This is not my opinion. This is what people on the right. street think. Well, he, they they've think had the, their problems, they think too, the, especially they, with they, wide they, receivers. They, they think the, the difference between the Browns and Steelers organization is this. Culture. I'll give you that. There's a culture. But I think that culture goes all the way to the goes top. to the top. Yeah. Yep. I'm not that's putting that. That's part of the problem. That's part of the problem. I yeah. just think in the end, some of the, to me, the the Hunt, Njoku, and Landry have nothing to do with Stefanski. I don't think he takes any blame in those. Those are all about contracts. Those are all about contracts. Now, the old Dell thing, definitely Stefanski gets some of the blame. Uh, Clowney, I I'll give him some of the blame, less that for me than the Odell thing. Certainly the Miles Garrett thing, I'm giving Stefanski some of the blame there. Right. Who else did we mention? Baker. I mean, Baker, come on. Uh, Again, they were moving on to another quarterback. Well, well here's some I, people I, say, and you got to think about this too. That see, you, you we can't look at it in a vacuum. You you got to take it and look at the whole timeline, because as all these things are happening, guys moving in. Think about this, man. What what did they even when they traded Troy Hill, right? Mm -hmm. That's a veteran respected dude in the locker room, right? He mm -hmm. was terrible though. Here, but here's the thing though. Yeah, they're looking at you like if he was te that terrible, why'd you bring him in? But gee, these, that's part of football that happens on every team. Come on I, now. But, but no, here's that's what, fair. No, no. What, what I'm and by the way, to, uh, for Tomlin, you've had a number of things. Troy Hill was playing great this year, by the way. All right, fine, but he wasn't great here. And well, no, that's I think that was the that's part of it. That's an indictment on the defensive that, that's coaching That's the part staff, of it, no yeah, doubt. because he was great before. Yeah. He came here and was awful, and then left and became that guy again. And by the way, as Steelers, did Odell Beckham. Steelers, yes. There's been a number of Steelers players over the years who have complained about contracts, including Le'Veon Bell, who held out for a whole year. Yeah. Is Mike Tomlin to blame no, no, for that? No, no, what no of what course I, not. I look at it more than contracts. I look at yeah. it more, more yeah. in production. You know, no, 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 but you lumped all those guys together but, but, and blaming Stefanski for the guys who make comments about their contract is not no, fair. No, no what, what, it's just like when we, we talk about um, in the press, right? When you're in the press, right? You don't do yourself any service when you don't, you aren't as transparent as you could be. Some stuff you don't got to keep to yourself. Some stuff is throwaway. Nobody's going to like. You're not giving nothing away by saying certain things to the media, giving them something, right? Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to give them, build a relationship with them and say, all right, well, look, don't hammer me all the time. This is what we're looking for. So when you're doing this, you got to get to a point where your, your, your team says, you know what? I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I ask everybody this question. Who is, who is Stefanski's spokesperson in the locker room? 
Who's who's his who is his guy? Every coach has a guy. He ain't got and one. And that guy he don't have gets, one. He whips the votes. Right. He, yeah. I need he, them he, votes. He whips the votes. Yes. He whips them votes. <laughs> yes, he does. And I, don't I don't know see, who it is. I don't, I, you know, you know what makes the whole thing tricky in the end is because there is a, a small part of me that thinks they should probably fire Stefanski and move on. There's a small part of me. The problem is that I have no faith in the, the leader yeah. of the organization. And I'm with you, that's Bull, another and that's yeah. why. Yeah, that, and that's so why. I'm like, well, okay. Who they bring in. Like, I, I, part of me is like, well, if I were the owner of the Browns, I would trust myself to know for sure, because as the owner of the Browns, I should have a good knowledge of whether or not Kevin Stefanski is the right guy more than we would, because we're not in the right. building. Right, before you fight but someone, I don't trust Jimmy to make, place? I don't trust Jimmy to make that decision, I don't but we either. got no choice. And that's why I'm okay with the coach we have, because the devil you know sometimes is far better than the devil and, you and, don't. And, not, and his track record of yeah. bringing dudes in. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Now, if you told me you could get Sean a, Payton, that. all right, I got a different uh, I mean, but but Sean taking, Payton is not coming to but Cleveland. If, right, but if I'm taking another crapshoot guy, then I'm like, oh, here we go again. Because here's the thing the person who's really in charge when you look at it <laughs> is the hand of the king the, the the person who has his ear that's who's okay, really running I'm, it I'm, gr- I'm so glad you said that because i wanted to wrap this topic up with a question for all of you guys okay i want a ranking one to three mm-hmm. who runs the browns you know when you think about the chiefs it's clear oh well, it's andy Reid. yeah yeah when you think about the patriots it's easy Bill Belichick. Now, they've earned those roles no, 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 because no. they've consistently won. So, I'm not saying that that should be where sure. Kevin Stefanski well, well, is no, the no. king here. When you, when you say runs the Browns, what do you mean? I So, wh- who has the – who's won the power struggle here? I and think, don't for a second think that there hasn't been a power struggle going on here. In think, terms of it happens on the field, every on the field or you tell no, all all, of, all of, off yeah. the field. Oh, you, I think who, it's Jimmy Haslam. Oh, Jimmy. Okay, I, I so think, he's one. I, yeah, I think so. Who's two? Deeper Dustin. That's yep, my two yep, also. That, you see, too. I, believe, I think you're right. He, he too. I believe. He too. I believe, and I, I don't know this. This is just my belief, that Barry, De Podesta, and Stefanski are basically a team. Jason has said yeah. that for the first time in his years around the Browns, that yeah. they're all singing the same notes. Yeah. So they're a chorus. They're working together. Mm-hmm. That's fine. But if you're off key, right. they're singing the wrong song. Right. right. And so if that's true, and I have to trust that Jason's perception of that is is correct. If that's true, I'm starting to beginning. I'm beginning to wonder what sheet music are they singing off of? They, are very they may all be singing together, but yeah. is it a beautiful harmonious no, that's choir? That's fair. And then so so the other thing, and Brad, you can wrap this up because I I didn't think anybody would have my three, but my three is. Jimmy Haslam, yeah. and that right off the bat yeah, is yeah. a huge, huge problem. problem. Yes. yes. Right. Number two is Paul De Podesta, yep. and number three is Andrew yeah, Barry. That's my order. And yeah. I, so I don't know that the coach should be one, two, or three, but he damn well better be in the top three. And I'm not sure yeah. Stefanski is here. Oh, and no. I think that's the problem. And you look the at the organizations structure. where the where the owner is the end all be all. They never have success. How how often does Rooney get involved with what the Steelers never. are doing? Never. And, and even Kraft with the Patriots. And I just by the way, but Jerry Jones is always in the where Bengals. the Cowboys are. Mike Brown, the last couple of years, has finally taken a back seat for the first time. Not that they haven't had any success under him, they have, but. It's not a surprise that their best two-year stretch is when he's finally taking a backseat and his uh, his daughter is basically now running it and she lets the football people – she's involved, yeah. but she's not in the – she's not Brad, as involved as Brown re- re- was. Really quickly, I think they're, they're smarter than we give them credit for because oh, they've, done a, they, yeah. they've done a good job of insulating the pedestrian. You can't even get to him. He's not here. He doesn't live he here. He don't live here. And I think that's a huge that's a problem. problem. And, and so it, he's not accountable. So so he you can't even yeah. question what he, he doing. talks like once every three years. And I and, and quite frankly, that setup is set he's up tucked. to fail. That yeah. is weird. I never liked that he didn't I hate live that. here. It's what's bizarre. your power structure? Who's your top three? Well, Jimmy's at the top. Yep. I don't think any go thing goes by Jimmy without him blessing it, right? And I think Deep Death is in second, and I think Andrew Barry is a distant third. Do you have it. Bull? Did you have Stefanski at three, or did you have who did you have at three? I, know I, I really, I you know, if you, uh, I have it as a three-way tie for two between those three guys. I think they're all tandem. But if I had to choose, I would say yeah. I would actually say 
Uh, Haslam won deep Podesta two and Stefanski. So, 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 I got to jump in. I got to jump in. The don't have no juice. None. If they tie, he has no juice. He's going to tie it to him. If one gets fired, don't that mean all of them get fired? No, no. If they three, if they're all on the same page, I think if you're going to fire Stefanski, then you should fire all three and and start over. I don't want that to happen, I don't, honestly, yeah. but I, I think I, I think that the, the reason I wanted to we, do this exercise is yeah. because I, I felt that we would get to a conclusion where the head coach wasn't in the triumphant of power, and out. I think that is a, a problem. Uh, if, if that's the case, that's a huge problem. Yeah, yeah. huge problem. All right. Next! Uh,